RASM is a super mini receiver with eight channels. We can see that th there are no pins but only a wire packed together, which can be directly welded with the flight controller board of mini drones or receiver board of mini RC cars. Now I'm going to show you how to do the binding and how to change signal output. Power on the RASM first. Make sure the correct polarities with red wire to red wire while black wire to black wire. Uh, we can see that the LED indicator is flashing slowly, meaning it's not bound yet. Let's take RC60S as an example, and uh, we can see that there is no signal tower display on the LCD screen. Now let's do the binding. Long press the binding button until the LED indicator flashes quickly meaning binding process is ongoing and release the button. When the LED stops flashing and is always on, we can see that a signal tower shown on top of the LCD screen of the transmitter. Binding is complete. If the transmitter is without LCD screen like TAFB or TAS, the binding process is the same. Only when the LED is always on means binding is complete. If the LED keeps flashing slowly, it means binding doesn't succeed. There are totally two signal outputs for RASM, PPM or SBUS. You can see that the current LED color is blue and purple, meaning its current signal output is SBUS. If we want to change the signal output as PPM, we need to short press the binding button twice within one second. We can see that the LED turns red, meaning the current signal output is PPM. And this receiver, RASM, is compatible with radio link transmitter, TFB, TAS, R6JS, and RC4GS.